weird comic that makes you question why you like it, and yet you already know you want the second issue? Well, let me tell you, this is it. A righteous thirst for vengeance is definitely what you're looking for. It's an easy read because there's very little dialogue in the first issue. You don't know the protagonist's name by the end. You have no idea what's going on and what he's after. He hardly speaks, and when he does, it's very little. But the whole thing is mostly told by images. You can surmise that the protagonist is Chinese because he smokes a Chinese brand of cigarettes. He's a nice guy, he's very polite, and he has compassion for animals. But that's about all you can tell. You follow him through his journey through Vancouver, British Columbia. I've been there and it's a gorgeous place. Nothing seems very special at first, and you wonder why the hell you're looking at this mostly empty book. But then BAM! In the last few pages, the other shoe drops and it all comes together beautifully. It seems like a hell of an experimental book, and it's not a gimmick because the style continues into the third issue. It's a mystery unfolding in front of you, and you'll want to go back and read the previous issues just to fully appreciate the clues left for you. The book is by Rick Remender and Andre Lima Arojo. Sorry if I'm butchering the name. I apologize. Remender has worked on Uncanny X-Force, Venom, Captain America, and also created Black Science and Deadly Class. Black Science is awesome, by the way. If you haven't checked it out, you should definitely do that. It's one of the best sci-fi comic books ever. It's the spiritual child of sliders, if you ask me. Arujo, the artist and co-creator, has worked on the Spider-Verse, Inhumans, and Fantastic Four, and more. These are two talented people here, so I have faith that this is going to turn into something really interesting to read. I don't want to give you any spoilers, but you have got to read it from the first issue. Don't just try to dive in at three or four. Trust me, it's worth it. The book is unique in my opinion. I've never read a book that just trusts that you're going to keep looking at it. It doesn't do your work for you at all. It doesn't spell anything out. You have to figure it out. I love it. It's a real mystery. This is the best kind of mystery comic I've ever read. Get issue one and give it a chance. Trust me.